What's up, everybody? Ben Razi here for uh, Chopper, and I'm back. It is Saturday and the start of bowl season. What is it? December 16th. We're getting it started. There's a lot of bowl games. There's a lot of everything today. I don't care what sport you like. Something for you today. And that's the beauty of Odd Chopper. Hopefully, we got you covered for all things betting. No matter what sport you want, from the tools to the picks to the Discord, we do, in fact, have you covered. I want to welcome everyone in. If you want to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's appreciated, especially in these trying times. I am in a bit of a cold streak. There's no denying it. Bet the Zags last night. I bet some hockey last night, and that was uh, should have been better, but it wasn't. Let's talk about Gonzaga. More shots and more free throws. That was the formula, but they only made two threes. And UConn is just a really, really good team. It's hard to really find gripes uh, when you bet against a team like that. They, they really are just an outstanding squad, uh, and it's going to be hard to, to short them in a lot of spots. So credit to UConn. We got to be better. We got bowl games to find, and let's get into one. I'm going to the late night game. I did a parlay on this very channel. You can check those out for some additional picks and certainly in our Discord. But Cal and Texas Tech, it's a three and a half point spread here. And I'm going to go to the Red Raiders. Uh, I've been shorting Cal all year to a lot of success until the end of the year where they won three straight just to get to six and six and just to get here. I'll be honest, that freaks me out a little bit. They are playing pretty good ball. But at the same time, what does bowl season become now? It's just who's playing and who's not opt out central. So let's start with Cal. They are missing two quarterbacks. They do have Mendoza, who was into the rotation anyway. So it's not as bad as it seems. It's not a true third string. But still, more importantly than that, Cal's missing their leading tackler and a starting corner on a defense that was no good to begin with. That's a huge problem. I think those are the most impactful out opt outs of the game, portals or whatever you want to call it. That is serious, serious trouble for a Cal defense that I don't think is going to be able to stop. Mr. Morton, who is back, uh, you know, he was banged up at times. Texas Tech should be relatively healthy. They are going to be missing a pair of wide receivers, good wide receivers, and they're starting left tackle. Not ideal, but it's all offensive. I think they already had the advantage over Cal. The rest of it, defensively, they're missing a couple guys who have been hurt. Maybe they get them back. Maybe they don't. I don't see glaring, glaring problems in that uh, sense. So this game, just to back up, it's in Shreveport, the Independence Bowl in Louisiana. Both teams are six and six. Uh, both played pretty well. I mentioned Cal won three straight. Texas Tech won three of four. They got absolutely smoked by Texas. No real shame in that. Texas is a playoff team, and we've seen that. But how do I see the game going? Well, you have a 58-point total. Cal's offense, I think, will be standard effective. Uh, they didn't suffer many, many portals or anything. I didn't think they were just... That good to begin with. Mendoza is going to have a lot of pressure on him. Will he make some plays? I'm sure he will. And then I don't expect Cal to stop anybody. I didn't, like I said, I can't stress. I did not like this defense at all. I saw them get worn down in several games. Uh, yes, they played very well against UCLA to close, but like the Washington State game and some of the elite Pac-12 teams really had their way with them. Is Texas Tech to that level? Maybe not, but I look at Morton and I look at wide receivers, one of the few positions. I actually think that Texas Tech had a lot of depth. At. So if I was going to choose opt-outs or portals or whatever, I think that might be the position I would have chose for this team. Now, would I would I wish the offensive line was a little more intact? Of course, of course. But I look at this, I think Texas Tech will score and score plenty. Cal keeps up, more credit to him. Three inside minus 110, three and a half, excuse me, at minus 108. I'm on board with that. I'm going to call for Texas Tech to just, in a competitive game, but one where they will they will score early and often, I think they really get out ahead and they hold on here. I'll lay the three and a half points with Texas Tech tonight. There you have it. First of many bowl picks for me uh, for bowl season. It's going to be awesome. We've done content on this channel. And then real quick, on the way out, I always like to mention this, uh, you know, for people that are looking for more. Again, you if you've been with me this week, you know that when you're giving out uh, a single play a day, you can have uh, a whole week almost where you don't hit a single thing. But if you want more, if you want Picks, discussion, tools, which is the most important thing. It's all there. The link is below for Odd Chopper. Click the link and read about it. If you, you say this isn't for me, no harm, but it's better to know and get informed. And if you do decide to test it out for a week, use the 20% off code and save yourself some money. No reason not to do that. But it's bowl season, and I'm very excited to see these games get underway. Final thing, if you have any questions at all, I'm always happy to help, whether I'm in Discord or if you just want to Shoot me a tweet. I'm always happy to respond at JazzRazDFS, uh, and it's appreciated. Appreciate everyone in the Sod Chopper community. I can't wait for bowl season to get started just a couple hours from now. So enjoy this game tonight with Texas Tech hopefully getting the job done for us. For me, 
for the Red Raiders and for all of us here at Odd Shopper. Just have a great Saturday ahead. A uh, lot of sports out there. A lot of action. Enjoy. Good luck. See you tomorrow for a little more NFL talk.